that is your turn. That was a pretty good turn. Okay, so the Tyrion and Ravener um, just, you know, roars and charges uh, the nearest target to it, which I think is Kadir, unfortunately. <sighs> yep. Yeah, it's Kadir. So it turns to Kadir, and it charges you. Sorry, Kadir. I need to cast the sheet. Uh, yeah, I'll give you Caster Sheet in a sec. Actually, it's right. the wrong way around, because the, they're supposed to face that way, I think. These Tyranids are really hard to see where their ass is and where their face is. Yeah, that's their face, right? <laughs> okay. Your face, hey. your ass. What's they all the just difference? like a giant ass to me. Um, okay. So Same for Christopher. Controlled by... Tom. <laughs> okay, so you, you should be able to see Caster Sheet now. Uh, Alright, yeah. that was... Was that Phil I gave it to? No, I got it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cast. Yeah, okay. Um, so the Tyranid Ravener charges Kadir. Um, what's it get on a charge? Let me see. Has that, it has that, it has that, it has that. Um, oh, yeah, actually, um, they have Fear 3. So can the... Uh, leader, which is caster, make a willpower test minus uh, 20 for me. Okay, so it succeeds, so you lose, you lose no will, uh, no um, cohesion. Uh, you're all in squad mode range, so that's okay. Alright, so he charges Kadir, uh, he just gets the 10 for the charge. And he hits. Do you want to dodge a parry, Kadir? I'll bury. Okay. Do you want to re-roll it with a fate point? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Okay, so he hits. Um... Right, so in Malie, he has uh, Slighting Talons, which are 1d10 plus 14, pen 3, tearing. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's a KH, so it's actually just um, reduce 8 from that. 24. So it's 20, 24 damage, pen 3, to your. Uh, Right arm. So minus eight. Oh, uh, the twenty-four pen. No, twenty-four damage. Pen three to your right arm. Oh. Yeah, because I accidentally added the eight when I shouldn't have. Yeah. So what's the armor on your right arm? Eight. Eight, so it goes to five. What's your toughness? Ten. Ten. So fifteen reduced from twenty-four. So you take uh, nine damage. Nine. Nine wounds. Yeah. Okay. Um, caster's turn. All right. Caster will fire his stone bolt and semi-auto with normal bolts at the governor. Okay. So what is that? <laughs> Storm bolter, normal bolts, yeah. did you say? Yeah. Okay, uh, it's plus 30. Uh, okay. Minus 20. Unless, uh, let me see what caster got took, because maybe he has a... A mighty shot. Uh... Mighty shot just adds 2 to it, so he's already got that added in, so... Does he have a red dot sight? He has Angel of Death. Um, he has a fire selector, a mastercrafted combat shield, a melted gun. Uh, he took 60 rounds of Hellfire, 60 rounds of Kraken. Um, he took the storm bolter. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a red dot sight now. So it's just plus thirty then, minus twenty, so it's plus ten overall. Right. Okay, so he misses. How many eight points? I'll keep it. Uh, he should have. He should have three actually. I don't think he added the one you got from uh, last All week. Right. Remember? Okay. Well, no, it is in this sheet, but not on the actual character token. Yeah, there you go. It's three okay. now. So do you want to spend one of us? Yeah, might as well. Okay. Yeah, bust. 
Ah, fuck. No, that's a miss. You can spend another one to knock it over to one hit if you wanted to. Yeah, is this guy taking damage? Uh, yeah, he's, he's taken a lot of damage already, yeah. He took a bunch from Tarlox Stormbolt. Fuck it, might as well. Okay, so you hit once then, so that's two hits. So he already tried to dodge, so that's a hit, yeah. So two damage rolls. Okay, so pop, pop, that actually kills him. So he dies. Okay. But lucky enough, on the next turn, uh, for the Tyranids, the following happens. All of up here. Of course they do. Be like a 1d5 plus 1 type of situation, or... That many more up here? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. And I'll roll for them, give me a second. Some of them are the wrong way around, I think. Oh no, they were the right way. How do I go about changing my maximum of half my fate? The maximum of your fate points? Yeah, you know, of, of like the bar on my character. Uh, if you double click it, and you see there's a, like a blue bar that says 3 out of 3. If you put the second thing as 3 out of 4, it'll become you have a max of 4 fate points. But I think you already had 4 or 3, did you? I, I or, have, I've got 4 total. Oh, you have 4, okay. And I, it was 3, uh, and I put it down to 2 because I, I thought there, it was I, a 4. So I, I fixed it for you. So. Thank you. Okay. Let me just roll for the, uh, the Tyranids. Okay. Um. Yeah, that guy's supposed to be like uh, there. Okay, so the sending order. Um, yeah, we will retreat out. Lower God is faster than Tyranids. I oh, don't know, it's faster than Nils, sorry. Alright, Kadir, your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna take out my new stalker, stalker pattern bolt gun. Nice. Okay. Lo load it with Elfire round and shoot the nearest Tyranid. Do you have a fire selector on the stalker bolter? Yes. Okay, so you instantly gonna, do. I, okay. I also gonna aim it before. Okay, so you take a half aim at the nearest one, which is probably this guy over here. So you get plus 20 for the half aim. Plus 20 for its size, so plus 40 overall. And uh, another 10 because the accurate. Uh, the accurate. Uh... Or the accurate, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah, so plus 50. Okay, that's a hit. He tries to dodge. Uh, it fails to dodge, so deal damage. And pair 2 degrees to success, you do an additional 1d10 to a max of 2d10, so roll an extra 2d10 after you roll damage. Because it has the accurate rate. Yep, then roll 2d10. Roll well. Just a second. Okay, so nice. that is 23 damage altogether, pens all of his armor, um, reduces by 8 for his toughness, so 15 damage. Okay, 15 damage to that Ravener. Uh, this one over here uh, turns and just starts slaughtering Maccabi and Janissaries. Let's see what it gets. Are they classed as a horde? Yep. Okay, so it slaughters two of them. Just rips them to shreds, and like ends its slaughter there. Uh, Laura, got your turn. I, I will use my jetpack and engage this one. Okay. Then I charge him. Is he in melee combat with anything else? Uh, no. Alright, so that's uh, plus 30. What weapon? Well, it's plus 20 for a size, plus 10 for the charge, so... Oh. Yeah. Uh, also plus 10 due to power sword, plus 10 due to single combat, so plus 50. Okay. So many modifiers. Alright, it tries to dodge. Uh, 
uh, it does dodge you. So it okay. dodges you. Uh, oh, Google, your turn. User was moved to your channel. That was Caster here? Hey, Caster. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. I'm really sorry, guys. I right. came back from at about six, and then I just immediately crashed. And I've just woken up and looked at the car, and I'm like, shit. It's fine. As long as everything's all right, mate. So little time. Uh, have I missed anything important? Uh, Uriel killed us all and uh, got sucked into the warp again. Uh, he's currently fighting off a demon prince of Corn. No, he's he's <laughs> lying to you. We're but he streaming did... it though, so you can catch up. He did. He did actually kill them all in Dark Heresy though. Yeah. yeah. I pretty much did a team wipe in Dark Heresy. First Dark Heresy, net or a death watch. By the way, it's your favourite thing, so we get to fight again, if you're not already in. Yeah, so Earl, it's your turn. Right, uh, I'll shoot the, this one down here. Okay. Oh no. Uh, oh, was it plus 60? Uh, plus 20 for its size, um, plus 20 for the twin link, and then plus 20 for full auto, so yeah, 60. Yep, that is a hit, and that is, uh, you got five there, but then you get another two from your bolter assault and the twin linked, our bolter drill and twin linked, so that's seven damage rolls, it tries to dodge. And it dodges everything but one, so one damage roll. Okay, 19 pen six, uh, that pens all of his armor, and it's, uh, you're actually rolling the wrong thing. Uh, it's supposed to be 1d10 plus uh, 12. Is that uh, a 2d10 plus... Or is that the Terran you're using? Let me just check that, actually. Because heavy bolters are 2d10... Or no, are 1d10 plus uh, 12 with Terran and pen 4, if I remember correctly. Mm, the twin that's what, thing, that's right? what I got from... Uh... Yeah, but he got it off rights of battle, and the rights of battle thing is wrong. Like I said, it's based on the errata. Okay. Yeah, so... so... 1d10 plus 20. 1d10 plus 12? Oh, 12. And do you have Mighty Shot? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's 1d10 plus uh, 14. Or, well, it's basically 2d10 kh1 plus 14, if you want to type it out exactly like that. 2d10 kh1. kh1 plus 14, and its pen is 4. Because bolter weapons are all 4 pen. Space Marine ones, anyway. Okay, you can go ahead and re-roll that for me. Yep, there you go. Actually, did more damage this time, see? Um, yeah. So, it still has two armor left, and it has eight toughness, so ten reduction, so you do ten damage. Okay. Uh, Uriel, your turn. Uh, again, I will... Try not to light anyone up with lightning like this time. Yeah, uh, other than maybe the Janissaries. They should be fine, right? <laughs> Probably <laughs> not, but if, if you don't care about them, then I don't really know what, if it matters. So. Uh, I'm, it would only be four meters, right? If you don't, uh, if you do it on, if you do it feathered, then it's four oh, meters. Yeah, if you do it on feathered, otherwise. If you do it on feathered, it's seven. If you do it pushed, it's like, what, nine or something? Or ten or whatever. God damn people standing next to the things I'm trying to kill. Just uh, you could just, just charge saying. us and try and channel. I mean, that's possible. Really. He can't charge it. He's in Terminator armor. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm doing a measly smite, like full on fetid for like just forty, four d ten damage, pen four. So that's. How much Again, extra it's minus, do I get? Minus ten willpower when you do something. Right, better, so I'm back. I'm aiming, and it's so, massive. And I mean, it's ten. It's massive is twenty. So uh, minus ten. So it's plus twenty-five. Yeah. Okay, so that's a hit. It can dodge though, so it tries to. And it does, so it dodges. It dodges <sighs> over here. Okay, so did you... No, it doesn't matter if you're all doubles anyway. Okay, um... Stravener, 
turns to the most threatening target, which is Lorgat, and does a lightning attack against you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let it, let it, uh, let that hits you four times. Okay. Uh, ten balance, ten sword, ten single combat, so thirty. Okay. Yeah, you block everything. Cool. Um, and then it makes a multiple arm attack. Oh. And it misses you with a multiple arm attack. Right. Sarlok, your turn. Okay. I was going to charge that one in the northeast, but he moved out of the Oh, I'm distance. sorry again! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll just, like, expect that that's what's going to happen now. <laughs> um, so instead I will semi-auto with Hellfire rounds. Uh, whatever. This this Tyranid. Okay. So that's plus 30 overall. I think, yeah. Okay, it tries to dodge with step aside. And it dodges everything but one, so two damage rolls because it's storm. Okay, so all of its armor goes through, eight reductions, so the seven damage from the first one and ten from the next one. Seventeen damage overall. Were any of those rolls a nine? Yes, they were. Uh, so roll 1d10 for Roger's Fury. Ooh. So you do two more damage. Nineteen okay. total. So the Tyranid Ravener then starts slaughtering Janissaries around it. Lightning attacks and it hits three times, which means six of these guys die, so they're all dead. Really puts into perspective how badly the Imperium needs Space Marines. When humans die in droves. Alright, so they're all dead. Um, Castor, your turn. Uh, by oh, the way, they, they took the uh, oat of. What was it? Um, the Ultramarine oat from Rites of Battle. I think it's called Oat of uh, Order or, or, or Duty or something. It's Out of Order or Out of Duty or something like that. Yeah, but it gives you four. It just gives you four. Yeah, different ones. I remember that one. So, what did. I get elected the leader or something. Yeah, but Lor uh, Lorgat wanted to duel you for it, but the rest of them shouted him down because they didn't trust a newbie. <laughs> so he dueled Uriel instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I lost. <laughs> well, as I said, I'm, I'm really sorry again about that, guys. I just... It's fine. Came back, just died. Oh, fucking... Oh, I can't believe it. I missed Tyranids as well. Oh, well. Um, anything important I need to know, or is it just shoot these things and I'll ask questions later? I think I'll do that. Uh, they draw in here with a land raider, which is behind you, which I guess you can see. Yeah. Um, they knew the Tyranids were down there because they did some scans and some sciences. They put a bunch of uh, 15 crack grenades on the ground and set them all off simultaneously to create the hole. They figured out because, well, they rolled on Xenos Forbidden Lore, they figured out that, uh, Raveners don't uh, act uh, well independently of the hive mind. They just act like wild animals. So they drew them out into an ambush because they want to get down into the um, reliquary below because it holds what they are, the information they're looking for for this, the Orb of Saint Rat, if you remember from last week. Um, yeah, I remember the, the Orb. Yeah. Did, did we see the Inquisitor, by the way? Yeah, you did. You can look up his information and the NPC thing and the uh, Herazor right. information. Right. You're on a world. You're on a world called Herazor. You can look it up on the handouts if you want to. All uh, right. Okay. Um, I assume we're in the uh, the Tyranid. Sailing. Yeah. And uh, no, yeah, you're in the Tyranid Island. Yeah, correct. Um. All right. So I'm just gonna. I guess I'll just work out what cohesion and stuff. Oh wait, no. Uh, yeah, we already worked it out. We had 10, um, Lorgat spent 2 of it to get his uh, 1 for himself, uh, there's 8 left. Alright, um, uh, do, do I know which, if any of the Raveners, like, don't have reactions left? Or... Uh, this dude? 
doesn't have any reactions left. All of the rest of them must have at least one or two. All right, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll send me over at that one then. Okay. So it's plus thirty overall then, but you're against Tyranid, so I don't know if you gain bonuses from holding the aliens. Not against shooting; it's punching them in the face that I yeah. get bonuses with. The so it's plus ten for the semi-auto, and then plus twenty for their size. Okay. Uh, just uh, checking anything else. Yeah, okay. I can't aim with semi-auto, can I? No. You can, but you can't fire on the same turn, so... Oh, oh right. yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, here we go then, Hellfire Rounds. Okay, so that's a single hit, so that's two, two damage rolls, because Storm. Yep, and I'll mark down my ammunition. Yep, so yep. that's in fact two Righteous Furies, so yeah. roll 2d10. Okay, so all of the armor gone, and uh, let me see, 12 damage initially, so you do 13 straight up. Uh, yes, yeah, so you actually kill him, so he dies. Rip to shreds. Um, this Tyranid Ravener uh, seen that uh, it's destroyed all these Maccabian guys here, and it just saw its, one of its broodmates get blown to hell. It starts charging. Uh, what's its charge distance? 21. So it charges... Uh, it's just enough to charge? No, it doesn't. So it just runs up to Caster, and it stops there. Okay. Ooh. Kadir, your turn. But it's a new round, and how many Tyranids are there? One, two, three... Four, five, six. Okay, so the rest of them just show up now. So let me do the rest of them. Yep, six more Tyranid Raveners. Uh, I'll do their initiative. Guys, come on. I know I was asleep, but I come back and this happens. Let's go. <laughs> At least, you weren't in, at least you weren't in the Dark Heresy a group. Believe me, he did not like, want any what, part of that. Like, what, yeah. what happened to that? Uriel got possessed by a demon, I got turned into a demon host, and then killed everybody. Well, good job, here. That's also on the on the Twitch website if you want to watch that. Someone give me a, a link to that after or something. Yeah. Will do. Okay, so descending order. Um, yep, seems correct. So Kadir, your turn. I'll take aim and shoot the nearest tyrannid with my uh, soccer. Okay. So that's uh, plus twenty because of the air, uh, plus thirty because of the aiming, plus twenty because of the size, so plus fifty overall. I also have a uh, red dot. Oh, so plus uh, 60 then. Okay, so that's a hit. He tries to dodge. He's the one right beside you. Uh, he dodges. This guy dodges. Um, I'll put a note. Does not remember that he's dodged. So he's dodged once. Uh, this Tyranid Ravener um, will charge Lorget, who's not here because he's getting his parents from an, a train station. But I'm still going to charge him. Uh, is he a combat master? Let me see. Combat master, combat master, combat master. No, he's not a combat master. Don't think so, anyway. No. Okay, so he's trying to parry then, I guess. I think he's good at parrying. <laughs> Did he take any bonuses on parrying? All of Ollie's characters are good at parrying. Uh, well, he gets, yeah, he's pretty good at parrying. So he parries. <laughs> Alright. Um, then 
and it's his turn, so I'm going to make him lightning attack something. He, he should have picked the Space Wolf. Because <laughs> counter attack. Okay, so Ooh, I'll make him it. lightning attack with it. Uh, it's flat. Well, actually, it's not flat. It's 20 for the size, 10 for the Master Crafted Weapon. Uh, 10 for the jewel. Oh no, he's not in single combat anymore. So, um, that's minus 10 for that, so I think he's just plus 20. Yeah, should have sure. been a Blood Angel. <laughs> okay, so he hits a total of 8 times. Yeah, wait, 8 is, times. Wait, is his power sword actually called Angus? Yeah, yeah. he called it Angus. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Cow. Thing tries to dodge. I don't, I don't know uh, how to feel about leading this squad for now. It dodges six times, so he, he hits uh, two times. So, let me see. His damage roll. Okay, so that's his damage roll. So it goes through all of its armor. Uh, does 17 damage with the first hit. And a total of 10 with the next hit. Okay, nice. that's his turn. The thing dodged once. Cast uh, it. Ul, your turn. Um, or, I, no, I, I like the turn actually, order, but yeah. It's a, it's a turn in Raveners, actually, because they're faster than you. Yeah. That is correct. Alright, so this Tyranid Ravener down here turns to all the Maccabi and the Zerhers and just starts to charge them. And, oh god, he gets seven hits. Oh no, he only gets once because he charged. So he just kills two. Actually, no, he kills as many as he killed in degrees of success. So he kills seven. Yeah, so they're all dead. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about bringing them back. <laughs> How are we going to bring them back? <laughs> we're, we're space marines, we're not miracle workers. Oh yeah, you um, you might want to just listen to the Twitch podcast to realise why there's a bunch of Macarian, uh, Maccabian deserters. Yeah, yeah, and they're also called deserters, I assume they're like... Deserters. Yeah, they, they found them on this planet, it's, been, it's a big long thing, it lasted like an hour or two with like Uri, uh, yeah, Uriel talking them down, so you, you might want to like look into it yourself. Um, okay, that's his turn. Uh, this one over here charges these ones. And he hits, so he kills four of them. <laughs> it's almost an accurate portrayal of Imperial God in the 40k universe. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, Ool, your turn. All right. By the way, Major Dorsky, whatever, um, like, man one of the... Last cannons? No, I told you the last cannons can't fit through the door. You like ah, literally park okay. at the entrance of the cathedral ah. and are shooting through it. Alright. Um... Oh, we're actually in the place. Yeah, you're in a crumbling cathedral. I'm I'm shooting this guy. Okay. So that's plus 60. six. Yeah. Should I be like worried about your history of friendly fire? No, he, he actually got a thing that makes him no longer gain negatives from firing into the middle. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so that will in fact be eight hits, uh, with Bolter Assault and Twin Links, so he'll try to dodge. <clears throat> and he dodges six of them, so two hits. Okay, so uh ten from each of them, so twenty damage. Okay, twenty damage. Uriel, your turn. Uh, you might be muted, Uriel, if you unless you want Sorry, to. Sorry, I just I just realized you said my name, yeah. yeah. Um, um hmm. Hmm. I think I will unfettered the Tyramid Ravager, which is miles away from anyone else. <laughs> Ravener, yeah. At uh, Ravener. Sorry, this one here, oh, that one. So unfeathered then? Well, um, uh, Star looks too close to that one. Shit, you know you want to. Uh, I'd, I'd love to, that but like, I'm, I'm totally going to kill things because I go like 10 meters away from things. Well, 10 meters away from that uh, doesn't hit anyone. It's safe. Okay then. <laughs> it's not safe, it's not safe at all. 
It's a lot. Push. We'll see what happens. It's not I... safe, but I wanted to do it because it's funny. <laughs> I, I, I'm sleep deprived, and even I know it's a bad idea. No, uh, like I said, it already went horribly once today. It can't happen it can't twice go horribly in the same again. day. Yeah, you're oh. right. You're right. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. There's no need for me to push. I'm I'm just gonna flat flat and use thirty five because of how big they are and how my aim is, and now I've got five. Okay. So you're wow. just using on feather to okay. The disappointment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you hit, he tries to dodge. Uh, he can dodge 7 meters. Uh, he does. So he dodges over here. Okay. Told you you should have pushed, you wouldn't have been able to dodge. <laughs> um, okay. So this one here, lightning attacks Lorga. And he hits four times. Lorgat can parry again because he has a uh, wall of blades. So he tries to do so. And he only blocks uh, one of them. So two. No, sorry. He got four hits. He blocks one of them. He blocks two, doesn't he? No, because it needs to be above. Uh... Well, actually, let me see. For parrying, is it? Yeah, you're right. He does block two, actually, yes. So four of them do hit, uh, or sorry, two of them do hit, so he gets two damage rolls. So, uh, sliding talons. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, you just you just failed to block two hits, so I'm about to roll damage on you. Right, what kind of roll? No. Well, you can with a fate point, yeah. Yeah, I've got five, man. I'll... Yeah, go for it, go for it. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Weapon skill, yeah? Yeah. Uh, plus 20. Yep. There yeah, you block everything. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um, Sarlok, your turn. Okay. I'd like to charge this one's butt. And okay. hit, hit him with my clamps. Alright, so oh, plus, no. plus 10 for the charge, plus 20 for the size. The clamps. You want me to clamp them? Fucking George's insanity is spreading. <laughs> well, it's, right. it's nice to see that the uh, deserters are doing well. <laughs> well, they uh, purpose. So, yeah, you hit roll damage. You failed to dodge. Oh, man. For damage. Okay, um, that penetrates all the armor, but then ten, 8 toughness, so 10 damage. Okay, you can use your multiple arm to hit again if you want to. Hell yeah. It's just flat though. It's always flat with multiple arms, right? Not a oh, problem. Got to get that double clamp. Okay, so he tries to dodge again. And he succeeds. So he's out of dodges, but he dodged the second one. Okay. This Tyranid one here charges these guys here. Uh, he kills four of them. It's going well for these guys. Alright, that's his turn. Uh, this one here charges uh, uh, these ones here. And kills three of them. The really, uh, the whole meat shield thing is definitely true. Yeah, I, I don't really care if they really are deserters. They're fucking brave. Yeah. <laughs> Being brave means deserters. Yeah. I'll pour some on the concrete for them. Some sacred unguids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just because no one's jam. ever going to ask me to use it, so I might no, as well dump not. it out. It's <laughs> charges uh, Kadir. And, and he hits. Yep. Barely. Okay. Uh, quick question, Warren. Why is the uh, humanity of like, Storm Wardens? Why are they more like they don't give a shit about humans or they kind of like them? Uh, they're, they're like the Ultramarines. They're neutral. They, they 
care more about the Imperium than they do about human lives, but they will save them if they can, but they will sacrifice them if need be. Oh, okay. Okay. Whereas, like, the Space Wolves and the Salamanders will go out of their way to save humans, even at the detriment of the Imperium. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's... Yeah, you block. Okay. Do you have counterattack, Kadir? I don't think you do. Nope. Okay. Uh, this one's dead. Caster, your turn. All right, guys. I think it's uh, I think it's high time we got some shenanigans on the go. Did you see which oath we gave you? Yeah, Warren told me it was the Ultramarine oath. Um, for now, I won't look at any of them, but we'll use we'll use an old favorite. So I'll get lead by example going. Uh, so command test. Is your squad radius now increased to 60, or is it still 30? I think it's still 30, like, isn't it rank 4 when that happens, or is it rank Yeah, I, I think it's rank 4, but it could be rank yeah, 4, I, could be wrong. I'm, how much XP am I off rank, I, I am 900 XP off rank 4 right now, so. Okay. So, once again, I think that the only member of the squad who it doesn't apply to is, um, uh, yeah. Ollie. <laughs> Wait, what? You're not in squad oh. mode because you're out of range. Huh? I think Kadir is out of range now as well, actually. Uh, no, he's in range. Yeah, it's literally, <laughs> just, literally just you again. <laughs> wait, by, by two meters. Oh, wait, man. wait, wait, wait. I Solo I... man. <laughs> I think there's a thing I can do. I might have looked. Uh, whatever. Okay, so I get that going through action, and then. So this guy in my face, right? Is he like engaged he's not with in... me? Or... No, oh, he's, just, he's just charged, not you. Basically. He's running to you, but he's not in the lead yet. Uh, okay. Well, I but guess that. His face. I guess that was his mistake. Um, he's still got a dodge lift, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. but he's, you're point blank with him, so. What an asshole. Okay. Um... Almost as dumb as Lucius. <laughs> Almost. To be fair, Lucius was kind of dumb. It's like, there's enemies that are teleport like 60 meters ahead of her. <laughs> Can, please, can please, can I, can I have like a cliff of you, Warren, just going there alone? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, just put that on like a, a dark angel. Don't help, man. Okay, oh. so I will, um, I will, I'll take my storm bolt. I'll draw my chainsaw just in case. I will take my storm bolt and I will level it to this thing coming into. They've even, they've even got like the behemoth. Color scheme, come on, this, this is just. I'm so pissed I missed this because of stupid sleuthing. Yeah, High, high Fleet Dagon has the same uh, colors of uh, High Fleet Behemoth because it's a splinter of it. So. Oh, well, they're, they're all the more reason. Um, so I'll just I'll load in Kraken rounds because you know, we want some some differentiation here. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 sh I'll put blank. Send me all of it. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. By the way, they uh they convinced the Inquisitor so much. Uh, like literally, Uriel told them what the item was, and the guy had been wondering for like three decades what the item was uh, that they sent the Lux Veritas to retrieve. He was so impressed by their willingness to share information and everything that he opened up his armory to them. So you gained another twenty five requisition. So if you want to buy anything else, uh, do that for next week. You have basically have twenty five requisition extra. That's cool. I suppose I would have taken it back then. Oh, well. Um all right, so I'll I'll just uh point blank semi auto this uh thing. Okay, so plus thirty for the point blank, plus twenty for the size, plus ten for the semi auto, so plus sixty max modifier. Alright. It's two hits. Uh, actually, that's no, a jam. That's jam. Yeah, I will re-roll yeah. it using my ultramarine re-roll. Okay. That's more. That's better. All right. Tries to dodge. Step aside. It dodges five bullets, so that's everything. Yeah, dodges everything. Wait. I will. I've remembered. I took this for a reason. I will use my angel of death to make the attack undodgeable. Is that only in melee, or let me just no, check it real quick? No, it's for everything, I'm pretty sure. I'll look it up real quick if you want. Yeah, I have it here. Only a handful of times in each generation will a truly blessed 
mighty champion rise from the ranks of a chapter blessed by the emperor such warriors and blah 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 uh is a true killing machine even by the impossible high standards that you have to start isn't that tall you should need once per combat encounter the battle brother may make an attack with a ranged or melee weapon cannot be parried or dodged alternately he may choose for one of his hits determined once successful to ignore either all of his foes armor points or stuff so you're making him not be able to dodge or parry you yep okay so they all hit then go for it and that is okay. used for this encounter yes all right and i i just shout from a crag and honor and duty and i kill it well hopefully And those are all panicked. Yeah, that kills it. <laughs> yeah, very much so. It does. The first company's remembered creatures. Okay, so that one's dead. Uh, this one uh, makes lightning attack against Sarlacc. I also feel tingly inside. <laughs> uh, Raging hits, boner. Hits you four times, Sarlacc. Do you want to dodge or parry? I will dodge. Okay. To the best of my ability. You dodge two, so he hits you twice. Bring it. Oh, man. Oh, you forgot my plus. Uh, 21 and 23, pen three, and it hits you in the uh, body body. Okay. Pen three, body armor is 10, so it's seven. Toughness is like amazing, seven. Yeah, and then this multiple arm misses you, so that's his turn. Uh, Kadir, your turn. And they can all, everyone can dodge and parry again. I'll make an all out attack. Okay. So that's plus uh, 20 for the size, plus 20 for the all out attack. Uh, that's it, so far as I can tell. He's in space, he's in the ultramarine range, so it's plus 10 for that. So plus 50. I remembered. Or is it plus five or plus? No, it's plus five. All right, well, whatever. He still hits the shit though. It's rank four that I do plus ten. Yeah, so he hits. So he's gonna try to dodge. Uh, do you want to make it a killing strike, Kadir? Then he can't. I'm gonna make it a killing strike. Okay, well, you spend a fate point if you do that. Um, okay, so he can't dodge. So roll damage. And they have the hammer blow. And hammer blow. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So let me see, 17 damage, pen 3, uh, reduced by uh, 8 for the toughness, and 3 for the armor is 6 damage, and then a hammer blow brings it up to that. Okay. Alright, so 11 damage. Um, this does your turn. This, uh, well, do you have uh, Furious Assault, can you? No. Okay, because you would have been able to attack again, but alright. This one lightning attacks uh, you. Cool. And it hits four times. Uh, I'm no longer in single combat, right? No longer, yeah. Yeah, so balanced, master crafted, and that's it. Plus 20, yeah. Okay, so you, do, you parry everything. Okay, and then it tries to hit you with its multiple arm. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll parry. Yeah, it hits you with the multiple arm. Yeah, it hits. yeah, so you can parry again because you're multiple blades. Yep. Yep, you parry that one. Okay. Um. Your turn. A lightning attack. The one that hasn't attacked. Okay. So that's plus thirty, right? Plus twenty for size. Plus ten for master crafted. Uh, minus ten for lightning attack. Yes, yeah, so plus twenty. Okay. Yeah, plus twenty. Uh, you know what? Be bowling. Okay. Cool. Okay, that's nine hits. It tries to dodge. You know what? I'm going to bump it up a one as well. Okay, so ten hits. Yep. Okay, it so it tries, it tries to yep. dodge. Uh, it fails, so ten hits. And because it's a multiple attack and just multiple people lead, as soon as it, uh, it, it kills that, you can send the additional yeah. targets to the other one. So I roll damage. Down. Yeah, yeah oh, so roll, roll damage. Sorry. Five, well, stop two. there for now, so I can just see how much it's oh, okay. ahead. Bye. Uh, 24, pen 6 is all its armor, so 16 now. So it actually dies in the first one, so you can send every additional target to yeah. the other one. <laughs> okay. The fire point, but you know what? Oh well. 
Okay, 13 damage from the first one. Uh, 16 damage from the next one, but then roll 1d10 for me. Cool. So 20 damage. Uh, then... What is it? Uh, 15 damage from the next one? Yeah, and it dies on that one. Okay. Cool. And so you had you, a bunch of extra attacks. Then you kill the Maccabian deserter, right? Yeah. Uh, then you basically chop it up into tiny little pieces. Uh, <laughs> he waves it in the air. He like... spells his name out in the air. Yeah. Assaults everybody. Once they start getting good weapon skill, they do retarded amounts of damage. I have 75. Right. Yeah. How did you oh. get 75 weapon skill? I rolled a 50 and got plus 5 for remaking a character. Yeah. Oh, and then you fully buffed yep. it up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And he has a mastercrafted weapon as well. <laughs> yep. Okay. So this Tyranid Ravener turns and charges Kadir from behind. Because it likes it that way. <laughs> oh yeah. Ugh. I knew there was a reason I hated these foul creatures. And it hits Skadir, you can't dodge because you all had attacked, so it hits. It only hits once, right? Yeah, so it only hits once. So 19 damage, pen 3, and it hits you in the uh, arm. You should so, be... 8 armor. Yeah, 8 armor, so 5, and then you're toughness, so 15, so you take 4 damage. Four wounds. Okay. Uh, this governor here turns to slaughter the last Maccabi and Janissary. No, no. Over there, anyway. And it misses, actually. <gasps> Random guy. Yeah. Ooh, your turn. Mm, um, I'll shoot the one closest to the thingy. Okay. To the um, deserter. Uh, you can't actually hit it because it's only in a angle. Is it all? Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah, it's out of angle. It has to be actually okay. in that angle between Wait, two can wheels. Wait, sides as well? Can it? No, it can only. Balls. Yeah, no, the heavy bolt. The heavy bolters can only aim at things between the wheels. Mm. Yeah, because it has a oh, forty-five so degree angle. All still in the tank. Yeah, he's in the tank. Yeah. There's okay, that I'll... point dash side. So I'll fire at this guy. Uh, right, fight okay. here. Alright, so it's plus 60 for everything, so yeah. it tries to dodge. Uh, it only dodges one, so you gain... Uh, that would have been five hits, so seven from your thing, so six hits. Six damage rolls. Yeah, and it's, it's gonna blow up. Yeah, it does. Okay. You go your turn. Actually I... Yeah, I'm gonna charge him. I'm gonna try and hit him with my sword. So, weapon, weapon skill. It's plus 10 for the charge. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you have anything else, like a mastercrafted weapon or furious charge or something. Uh, my weapon is balanced and special. Yeah, so it's only just a plus time for the charge. And it's gigantic, right? So. Uh, yeah, so plus 30, actually. Correct. I don't get a 5 from being anywhere near cast. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, Ultramarine shenanigans. Forgot about it that time. Yeah, that's a hit. He tries to dodge. And he does. Do I not get to channel through the warp through it at all? No, you have to hit the channel. Ah, buttholes. Right, so it dodges, dodges once. Okay. The Steering Ravener is dead. Sarlacc, your turn. Okay. I would do a multiple attack on this guy I'm behind. Okay. I think this is his behind, is no, it? No, I think it's his front. face. Oh, his okay. Face, yeah. He's so ugly. Alright. <laughs> I just see the horns sticking out and. Clamps. Yeah. Plus 30. Uh, it's plus. It's only actually plus twenty if you're uh. Oh. For its size. Well, are you half aiming? First of all, yeah, that's how it would be actually. Yeah, correct. Can yeah. I half aim with a like a multiple limb attack? Um, multiple limb is flat. Uh, if you just attack with the serve arm normally, it's plus thirty. Um, so okay. I'm pretty 
be on that then, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a hit, so he tries to dodge. And he does. Now you can do the reaction one, and it's just flat with the other okay. server arm. Oh, it's plus five, right? Uh, plus five, yeah. Because of the ultra uh, it doesn't matter. It's a miss, anyway. And then you can, um... I think that's it, actually. Uh, you have the multiple arm traits, so you can actually, uh... Just attack again, flat. Uh, if well, if you if you spend your reaction, you mm -hmm. won't be able to dodge your parry. You can't attack again. That's fine. I'm built like a freaking armadillo. Okay, go ahead and make another hit. No. <laughs> Damn. All right, miss. But you can't dodge anymore. All right. So this guy here uh, charges Lorgas, ignoring the Janissary. He just like crawls over him. Oh, beautiful. I don't actually have a parry. Uh, but... He hits, so you can't parry. Yeah. yeah. So, 21 damage, pen 3 to your uh, body. Okay, so calculate that in your own time. 7, uh, 12, yeah. This one lightning attacks Uriel and misses everything. And any multiple arm attacks you. Flat. And hits you once. Do you want to parry Uriel? Uh, I'll do. I'll roll my one d one hundred first. Oh yeah, you're in Terminator, correct? Ooh. Oh, so close. So okay, so I will parry. So weapon skill plus I've ten. Got balance. Plus balance. Yeah, plus ten. Five balance. as well or not? Yeah, yeah, five from the ultra ring plus fifteen. Okay, that's a hit. Do you want yeah. to re-roll it? Uh, five points. We're near a... the end of the set. Yeah, I may as well, frankly. Go for it. Okay, you parry it easily. Um, this one here is dead. Caster, your turn. So I've just realized I can actually move because I'm not in so much armor. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I will be, though, <laughs> because uh, of this lovely gentleman over here. Do it. You know what? I've had enough of these goddamn tyranids. <laughs> so, Emperor Damn Tyranids. So, Caster will take out his chainsword, and I'm gonna charge into the, the side of this raven. Okay. With a vow to a cry to my fallen battle brothers of the past. Alright, so plus 10 for the charge, unless you have Furious or Berserker charge or something. No, I don't have that. Okay, so plus 20 for the size, so plus 35 with an ultimate thing. I'm just happy to have my hatred Tyranids be relevant again. Uh, oh, yeah. so, so plus 45 for the hatred. And then I have Hunter of Aliens. Oh, so plus 55. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really, really hate Tyranids. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Okay, tries to dodge. Wait, we're near the end of the session, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. so oh, you can do a killing strike. Sure. Okay, can't dodge. Okay, here we go. Um, chainsword. Alright. Okay, um... Three reduced from the armor, so twelve damage. Twelve damage. Get okay, twelve damage. Um, this one here, lightning attack, Starlock, and hits twice. You, I you all can't. Dodge. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Just give it to me straight. Eighteen and twenty-two damage. Pen three, and it hits you in the arm. The arm. Uh, the left, not the. Well, let me check actually. They're both bionic. Okay. <laughs> so just remember to take your uh, three pen away. That's it. Okay. Kadir, your turn. New round. I'll go with another rollout attack. Okay. So that's plus uh, 20 for the size, plus 20 for the all-out attack, plus 5 for the ultramarine thing, 
Um, I think that's all you have, so 45. Yeah, that's a hit. Do you want to make it a killing strike? No. Okay, so I'll try to dodge. Uh, he fails, so 19 damage, pan 3. Reduced by 3 immediately for his armor, and then 8 for his thing. You have hammer blow though, so it goes up to 13 damage. 13 damage. Okay. This Tyranid Robiner is dead. Lorgat, your turn. Alright, lightning attack. Uh, what does hammer blow do, by the way, again? Because I have it as well. Hammer blow, let me look up quick. Right, uh, thanks. Just to get the full details of it. Uh, hammer blow. The Battle Brother strikes uh, a single blow with such focus and force that it breaks through armor and pulps its flesh and strikes. When the Battle Brother makes an all out attack maneuver to make a single attack, he may add half his strength bonus to the armor's weapon penetration. The attack also counts as having the shocking quality representing the concussive force of the blow. Uh, these creatures are immune to shocking, but all basically right. you just add your strength bonus of the penetration value. When okay. all out attacking? Yeah, when you all out attack. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to lightning attack. So. Uh, plus 20, plus Five. 5, to get a minus 10, because I'm yeah. single combat now, right? Yeah, correct. Cool. Okay, that's 8 hits, he tries to dodge. Uh, he only dodges 1. Cool. I'm going to stop. Keep going. He dies on that one. Cool. Okay. Uh, this Tyranid Ravener, all it attacks, uh, well, lightning attacks Kadir. The Maccabian guy under him, under, under the corpse, however. Uh, he misses Kadir completely, then he multiple arm attacks Kadir. And misses as well. This one here, uh, turns to the guy who just chainsawed him. And makes an attack. I, I point at the Maccabian deserter. <laughs> Get him, you fool. <laughs> uh, he hits you five times. Oh, uh, I'll parry. Uh, hang on, let me work out which one's better. Remember, you have one balance. So. And hatred. Yeah, and... Hunter of Aliens. Yeah, so that's, yeah. Like yeah, so that's definitely parry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you parry... Uh, Four. Uh, and... Yeah, you parry everything but one. So one yeah. or two. Right. You can spend a fate point. Oh no, you can't because you use it. Yeah. Okay, one hit. Uh, so twenty-three no, cool. damage. Oh wait, three. wait, wait, no. Um, I have my combat shield. Uh, don't you also have? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Correct. That's entirely correct. Nope. Nope. Okay. So twenty-three pen three, and hits your. Sh should I have like rolled for all of those hits? Uh, n no, because you dodged them anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Also, I've just realized that... Wait, no, I think the combat shields just fell. Yeah. So, 74, that means I think that's a leg. I think it's a left leg. So, left leg, pen, 3, 22. Alright, uh, so that gives down 5, so 50. So I take 8 damage. Okay, cool, your turn. Right, um, Kadir's looking... Quite hurt, right? Kadir is pretty hurt, yeah. Pretty yeah, so I'm hit. gonna fire at this guy. Okay. Okay, yeah. tries to dodge. Uh, whoa, rolled a hundred, so everything hits. So, eight damage rolls. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say he's dead. Because he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> he's very, very dead. Finish aiming at Kadir. K Kadir, Kadir is rained and tearing at guns. Kadir is now a blood angel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Uriel, your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and hit this same dude with my sword. Okay. So I'm gonna. Lorga Lor I just noticed Lorgat's in the fucking corner there with like three dead <laughs> tearing and yep. yeah. There's the there's the dude under him as well. Yeah. I'm still just trying to hit this one tearing with a sword. I also think of this guy cowering between my legs, also just kill these ravenous coming at me. <laughs> so, I'm aiming with my sword, 
So that yeah. gives me 10, plus right? Plus 10, and then plus 20 for their size, and then okay. that's it. Five. Yeah, so oh. 35, yeah. Yeah, that's oh. it. He tries to dodge. Please don't dodge this time. He doesn't. <sighs> he listens to you. Right! This is the sign of an act this is the sign of a developing relationship. This is this is when the demon prince comes because I'm about to like r massively like push the force right the way through my sword up this tyranny's ass. <laughs> yeah, force so, it up his ass. If you push, it's uh God, you guys have some weird pushes. Will power plus ten. Sacred what, roll, roll damage first. Yeah. What damage sorry. you do by normal weapons? <laughs> yeah, this is my normal bit. Okay, so that's your normal weapon. Um, what's its pan again? Oh, pan 8. Or 5, sorry. 5. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. 5. Um, actually, it's based on your psi rating. What's your psi rating? Oh. Uh, but. Because it's your psi rating plus the normal oh, pan of a force Normal, weapon. then it's 7, sorry. Okay, well, let me, let me read. That. I think you've got it wrong in quite a few things because it's also the pan of the base force weapon, so let me just read it quick. I'm so confused by this. <laughs> yeah, what, did, what did you play the library? Alright, force weapon. Um, okay, so they normally do 1d10 plus 2. So your pen is 7, you said? So that means the pen is actually 9. Okay? Okay. Yep, so the pen is 9 normally. Alright, so that's... And what, am I supposed, what am I supposed to be rolling? Uh, is that, that roll fine? Yeah, that roll is fine. That roll is correct. Uh, it's just the pen was wrong. So just change the pan to nine. Okay, and that's there actually you go. what it Done. is. Yeah. All right. So you do. It reduces it by eight. So you do six damage from the weapon. Now you can channel if you want to. Right. Okay. So how am I doing this again? I do feathered willpower. Or feathered or. Oh, push. I'm pushing. Okay. So plus ten willpower. Plus fifteen. Uh, yeah, fifteen. <laughs> uh, 15 wait, wait, no. twenty. In fact, because I got my hood. Ah, yes, correct. Psychic hood. Is it all good in your hood? Okay. So yeah, it's the pause. Opposed willpower test, so the Tyranid makes an opposed willpower test to resist you. Versus 10.6 degrees of success. And then it's the difference, so it got 1.6, so you got uh, 9, so you roll 9d10 additional damage. Okay, perfect. This will be the best if you get the result where the power affects you instead of the creature. Yeah, so just roll 9d10 for the damage first of all. And then roll a 1d100 to see what peril or phenomena. I hope it's a peril, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you're, you're fine. So I the Tyranid, anyway. The Tyranid literally bubbles and then bursts. It just like blows up. And like lightning comes out of it. Alright, Sarlok, your turn. Like a pinata full of lightning. Yeah. <laughs> and rainbow. Yeah. Um, I'll just multiple limbs attack this one again. Okay. So you're going to attack first with the aim with the arm and stuff? Then? Yeah. Okay, so plus 35, because Ultra Rings. Uh. Yep, there's a hit he tries to dodge. Dodge this. Uh, he does not dodge. That's what I thought. Okay, so 8 reduced from that is 18 damage. Then you can make a flat attack with the other server arm, so not modifiers. Oh, well, five because ultramarine. Uh, so that's something. Help. Do you want to reroll it because you have five points yeah. near in the end? So go for it. That's better. Okay. Uh, do you want to make it a killing strike so you can't dodge as well for another five point? Yes. Okay, so roll damage. <laughs> and eight reduced from that is uh, sixteen damage, which killed him. So he does. Alright, this Tyran is dead, this Tyran is dead, Catherine, your turn. Just the one guy beside you. Sweet. It, it, is that McCabe and like not doing anything? Come on, man. Uh, they're firing like shitty las guns that don't hurt anything. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so he's making it easier for me to see it, that's fine. Yeah. Alright, uh, I will just aim and... So I'll link you to Maccabi and Guy's gears, if you don't believe me, because they have, like, absolutely shit gear. Like, uh, like, this is literally the gear they have. They have cold weather gear made from scavenged tapestries, curtains, and, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, yeah, tapestries, curtains, and floors. 
two lasgun reloads on a respirator they have a combat knife batter lasgun and their only trait is fire drill and that's it and they have poorly maintained flak armor that's all these guys have does mother know a stew wear a third rate um <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm lame and uh aim and standard attacking with my chainsaw okay Stick is plus 55. Right. Yeah. Got him. He tries to dodge. You will be gone from this world. He fails. So roll damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, you don't have hammer blow, do you? No. Uh, you need to all out attack anyway. Um, okay, so... Reduce that by 3 immediately, gets it 18, and then 8 reduced by the toughness of 10 damage. Okay, 10 damage. Um, this Tyranid is dead. Kadir, your turn, new round. Take aim and shoot the rest of uh, Tyranid with my, uh, with my Stalker uh, Bolt Gun. Okay. I'll fire round. So, plus 20 for the aiming, or sorry, plus 30 for the aiming, because it's a stalker weapon, uh, plus 10 for the red sight, plus 20 for its size is 60, then minus 20 for um, being a melee, so plus 45 overall, because of the ultramarine thing. Yep, that is a hit, just barely. It tries to dodge. Fails, Jesus. Okay, roll damage. Okay, you didn't get enough degrees of success for additional damage, though. So. so 17 pen 4 um, is a total of 7 damage, which is actually enough to kill it, because it was low as shit already. So they're all dead. Yes. Hooray. I cleaned the blood off my sword. Yep, so there's a ton of dead Maccabian Janissaries and 12 dead Raveners. They died in the service of the Emperor. I think, unless I'm missing the conversation. Did we save any of them? Uh, yeah, yeah there's a, few. a few of them are alive. Like I think three. four. Three or four. Well, I mean, uh, do they actually class as more? Because, I mean, like, su supposedly that we had 200 people. Yeah, yeah, there's more of them outside, like, uh, securing the city and stuff. <laughs> but all these guys are more or less dead, except for those They three were the dudes. smart ones who stayed outside. Just the Major and three of his uh, dudes are left. Well, uh, I am restoring a point of cohesion with my last fight point. Yeah, we're going to end here, so if anyone wants to restore cohesion with fate points... Well, I can it. just do my... Have I already used the Ultramarine squad? Uh, no, you have not. I'll just use that then, and get us back to full. Okay. Well, I, I had to Anybody... Uh, um, Caster needs Medicaid, and you need Medicaid. I think that's it. And Sarlacc, or...? Yes. Uh, yeah, Sarlacc. The wolf coming right up. Couldn't we just blast ourselves in here? But... Well, you're gonna go down the hole that you just blew through mm. the ground, so... Yeah, so, I'd, I'd yeah. like being in there. <laughs> well, you you, you dive to the tank. You, you yeah. wanna blow a hole big enough for the land raider to go underground. <laughs> That's right. Just right yeah. in there. Well, by the way, Caster, you're the only one with grenades. I'm not sure if they've told you this. Oh yeah, because you always use them to blow through. Yeah. And also, uh, only Orgaf can beat Uriel in a duel, even though he's in Terminator armor. Kadir, do you want to use your last fate point to bump that Medicaid failed Medicaid test over? Yep. Okay, so they all succeed, so roll 3d5s. And your int <laughs> is... Um... 63. 63, so 12 plus whatever. Yeah. So 13, uh, so 26 for whoever, so whoever gets the first one is full HP. Um, second one is full HP, and third one is full HP. So uh, you're all full HP again. Excellent work, Battle Brothers. I'll say. It brings fire to my heart and warmth to my blood to slay these foul creatures in the Emperor's name. <laughs> let us. Let us be on. I I I give Yuri a like 
I like a wink at Uriel and then like points to all the dead Tyrants. Know this feeling, brother. That's the let reward spend, for this week. Let me spend my two uh, 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 fate points to give you back cohesion. <laughs> okay. we, we, I'm already at four. I'm fairly sure. Um, oh, is there a max? Yeah. Yeah, I have a max. Ten. I think. Yeah, the max is uh, double what you started with, so the max you can be is 20. Oh, so, no. it's like yeah. 20. Yeah. So here, have two. Oh, God. Um, I gave right, you so... Yeah, so, okay. So we're on 13. No, we're on 14, because my thing, yeah. Um, I have three as well. You can, just... so you can add three as well. Yeah, that was full fate points. Alright. Do you have any salad? Stack deck what? Is, guy, Did guys, you have any fake points? So no, I spent them all. Right so, Ron, can I get any renown for being your real in, your in, in a drool? Duel. No. In a drool. Can I get any XP for being your real in a No, it's 500 experience one renown. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> God. What, what, I'm going to go ahead and like not take that experience in one renown because I really don't deserve that at all. No, I didn't take it. You can take the experience, but not, let's say, just not the renown because you missed a bunch of stuff, I guess. But, um, yeah, take the experience because I like everybody to be around the same level. It's like, that's super shitty <laughs> for them for, for me. Just, uh, just take the experience. Yeah. Alright, man. I'll do, I'll do it for you. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this week. There's a land rider here, I should have looked up. <laughs> Um, no, don't, no, don't delete the land raider. Uh, okay, you can keep part of the kill team yes. now. <laughs> the land name it. Has part Her name is part. Sally. Why would Mustang you name Sally? Such a machine, Sally. God. Why would you name your sword Angus? <laughs> because uh, reasons Burgers. of story. Because of story. Yeah, yeah. Like apparently, a storm warden name is Angus, according to the Corval book, and I named the... it after the person who gave it me. The Storm Wardens are all Celtic, so they're Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. Yeah, I know that, but like, Angus, please, please. Would you prefer it called Haggis? Do you want me to name my sword Haggis? Yes. <laughs> why don't you just, why don't you just, haggis. Why don't you just name it Racist Stereotype? <laughs> <laughs> just name it Racist Stereotype of the Week. <laughs> Oh man. Well, thank you very much for watching. I think that about does it for ducks tonight. Yeah. yeah.